Hello everyone, what's up Wednesday on Thursday? Um, okay, is anybody else like weirded out by the fact that today is the last day of September? Like, I don't even know. Um, definitely some witchy vibes going on considering next month is, or tomorrow is October, yay. Um, I hope everyone's doing well during the Mercury retrograde stuff and there are a bunch of other planets that are retrograde right now as well. I think there's like six planets in retrograde at the moment. Um, so if you're having crazy energy, that might be why if you're feeling really scattered also could be why and mainly just you know having patience with technology and electronics and stuff like that's going to be really helpful um what i decided to do for my video today was just pull a card or a couple cards and just intuitively um deliver whatever messages kind of come through for them if you if you don't pull your own cards and meaning like you don't do your own little like routine in the morning where you, you know, pull a card for guidance and stuff like that. I'm actually thinking about offering um, a short class and I'll give you guys more information as I kind of figure that out, but it'll be a Zoom class and probably be like 30, 45 minutes, something like that. And I will collect questions ahead of time. So that way um, I can answer anything that you guys might have. So, all right, so I'm gonna be using Wisdom of the Oracle deck, um, which was the first deck I think I ever got um, a very long time ago. <laughs> and what what cards are like in this sense so including tarot right the traditional tarot which is mostly what people hear and see um i i don't use that as my guidance i do other decks and oracle decks and things like that okay the blinds are gonna kill me give me two seconds <laughs> okay legit in like a hilarious way the sun is just perfectly bouncing off the window across from me so it is what it is just don't look at me just listen <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to shuffle the way that I do and just pick um, a card or two is kind of what I'm feeling, and I'm just going to kind of go with that. So um, this is a divination tool. What I mean by that is it's a way to connect to something beyond here, the divine, the universe, um, God, angels, guidance of some kind, whatever it is that you specifically um, connect with, you know, whatever you believe in and really feel like you connect with. So, I'm just going to give you a little intuitive message. Give me just a second. Mm. Okay. Well, this is fun, guys. It's saying, it seems like not everyone's having the easiest moment right now, is what I'm going to say. Um, so, the first card I got was um, Here and Now, is what it's called, but I got it upside down. So, what that means is in a lot of, a lot of times, like, our... Um, Mm. our mind and the way that it goes well it'll start to flood into the past right take us away from the here and now meaning the present moment and it will either go so far in the past which is more what I'm feeling right now than it is into the future but obviously it can also create fear of the future especially if you don't want to repeat something that is um, from the past so it's it's all about refocusing on where you actually are right this moment. And what I mean by that is acknowledge everything that you've gone through in the past, whether it's jobs, money, relationships, wherever the hell you've been in your life, that you don't feel like you wanna go back there, stop fearing it. Stop fearing it and move into the moment of right now and realize that you've already been through it, right? You already got through that to a point where sometimes we don't even know if we can get through something that we've already been through. And remember those moments because it's like that is what you're going to build the now on because literally you've already been there, done that. So bring it back to right now, this here and now moment. And it's not just about deciding. Hmm, it's not just about deciding how you want to feel and the way you want to live and all of that. That sounds great, right? But not if you're going through a little fear spiral. And that's why this second card that I pulled is called Never Ending Story. And you can literally see this little fairy and she's literally like, just like overthinking the shit out of everything. <laughs> it's like we can mull over and over and over in the mind, the same fears, the same story, the same past experience. And by redoing it or having regrets over the past, it is not going to necessarily change the now. That's a, dis that's a choice. That's a choice. And so if you're feeling like you have a blockage in that way and you need some kind of an energy clearing, hit me up, reach out, but you might also be able to do this yourself by grounding in the moment. Grounding, meditating, um, basically by grounding, I mean like moving out of the mind mentally as well as like moving into the body. 
So I don't care if you have 30 minutes to go sit outside in the grass, put your feet on the grass, on mama earth, not kidding, it's called earthing, you're more than welcome to Google it, and it'll be incredibly helpful, especially if we're in that freaking never ending story fear bubble. And I'm not to say that this is going to, you know, be the same story for everyone, but whoever this actually reaches, um, most likely something right now has been just kind of going over and over and over and over in your head. And so this, these are just a couple of ways that you can start to move out of that so that you can be happy in the now, because I don't really know too many people who don't genuinely want to be happy right now. Right? Like that's kind of the point of everything that we progress through and learn through. So yeah, bring it back to right now, journal, go for a walk, meditate, put your feet in the, in the dirt, put your feet in the sand if you're by the beach or whatever, but find a way to mm, detox the mind is what I just kind of heard. So it's like detox the mind and the brain, get the hell out of your thinking spiral because it's not going to help. Thinking the same thing over and over is not going to change anything. Get out of the thinking mind, back into the body and back into your intuition. That is what's going to help because when we start to feel more and more disconnected from the now, it's just going to perpetuate it. And this is part of what goes on typically during a Mercury retrograde. So it can bring up a lot of past things. It doesn't mean that you're supposed to go back and revisit those things or hit your ex up or like re, you know, redo the same story over and over. Don't do that. <laughs> um, make another choice. Make another choice because you can and it can be uncomfortable and that's okay. If you're uncomfortable, you're growing. Just just being honest with you. If you're this line on my face is literally killing me. <laughs> If you're uncomfortable, you're growing. If you are really complacent and comfortable, you might want to look at, um, not to say that being comfortable is bad, but if it's too familiar and it's really stagnant, I would reconsider the options in front of you. That's all. So something to think about. Hit me up if you have questions about this reading or what any of this means, and I will give you guys more information as I have uh, my next class, my online class ready for you guys. All right. Love you guys. Bye.